sound not bring back memories or what? <laughs> Okay, so i uh, got my hot water here, so I just want to talk to you about the tea that I'm using today in 2021. I've, uh, I've uh, updated my tea, the, the tea that I use, and my uh, method, and, you know, I guess my, I don't know if you'd call it your recipe, because I do, I do add, um, I do use this Lipton Black Tea, okay, but I do add one tea bag of this Private Selection pomegranate blueberry asui green tea all right just one just one of these but yeah you guys should it just gives it just one of these to six of these gives it a nice um, I don't know just gives it a nice taste and I, I like it and I don't add any sugar but yeah this here when if you try this right do yourself a favor when you when you tear it open smell it you're you'll thank me because it's like wow your senses go into like overload right it's like wow there's so that's such a pleasant it's a strong smell but it's it's so it's very pleasant though okay yeah so it looks like I got enough in my Got my tea jar here. This is, this is a nice set. My gram this this was uh, belonging to my grandma. This it's like a matching set. These old style canisters. It's got I got one for tea, one for sugar, one for flour, and then my bread box uh, matches it. So yeah, very very uh, you know retro uh, looking. And, and not only looking, but they are retro themselves. Like I said, my these were my grandmother's uh, set. So I'm thankful to have those. So. So I do have, I do keep them in, in there, you know, so I got, I need six, three, four, five, yep, I got one left over, alright. So, I call this, you know, brewing tea the retro way, but before I get into that, I do want to talk a little bit about this, you can see it is organic tea, Lipton. I bought Lipton for years. Every now and then I'd get, I'd get Lusianne, but to me Lipton, Lipton was uh, just better quality. But, uh, you know, as time has went on and I, as I continue to get older, right, I started paying more attention to what I'm using. Um, so after watching several videos, okay, and hearing something about the, uh, the, the regular tea, and it's like, ooh, really? You know, I mean... You're, you're, you know, you're welcome to do your own research, but I, I heard something about tea, these tea, black tea bags, or tea in general, the tea leaves, as far as the difference between organic and not non-organic. Okay, so, you know, the tea, I'm going to talk as I open these bags up and put them in the, the pan. The non-organic tea bags, or the, or the leaf, let's start with the leaves, you know, where they're, where they're, where they're grown. You know, any kind of farming or whatever in mod modern day farming, they're using pesticides, herbicides, and all that stuff, you know, to keep bugs out and fertilizer, okay? All that's like chemical, okay? That's like chemicals. <laughs> so, like chemicals, yeah. Pie don't, pie shouldn't be going in our bodies, huh? That's my thoughts. So that's why the organic thing is, that's why the, the, the appeal is there for the organic uh, food. It's, none of that stuff is used in the making or growing of, you know, the product. But, so yeah, you know, like, like crop dusting where they, they fly a plane over and that, that's like, they spray the, um, they spray the, the pesticides over, uh, over, over that. So you're thinking, well, they, they, you know, they probably like rinse it off. They probably like rinse those leaves off, right? Before, you know, grinding them up into these little, you know, grinding them up and then putting them in here before they reach here, right? They probably rinse those tea leaves off, you know, rinse that pesticide off and stuff, right? Well, I heard the answer is no, they don't. I heard the first time that the leaves are getting rinsed off is right here when you brew 
when you brew your tea. That's the first time the uh, the pesticide and all that's getting rinsed off of the the tea, the tea leaves. So therefore, you know, you're basically drinking it. It's going into your tea. So for that reason alone, like I said, I I can't verify it's 100% true. You're welcome to do your own research, but. That was enough for me. It's like, yeah, certain, I, again, certain things like that, I do buy organic. This is one of them. This, uh, pasta, you know, ketchup, um, you know, a lot of vegetables, like especially canned vegetables, okay? I will get organic. Um, I just think it is. If you can't afford it, I understand if you can't, you know, everybody, you know, it does, it does cost a little more and everybody's got a budget. So, but if you can't afford it, I would spend the little, the little extra money and get something that's, um, you know, healthier for you. So I did the same thing with coffee. I did my last thing of coffee I got was organic. Okay. So, and I, I like that organic coffee I got, that was like from Aldi. So it really wasn't that ex more expensive. All right. So that's, that's enough about that. So I'm going to tear this, this guy open here. I do this every time, smell it. Mmm, gosh. It just makes you close your eyes and like, I don't know, it's just very pleasing. It's very pleasing to the senses. I mean, with that smell. But this is the retro way of brewing tea. I got my wa uh, water already hot here. And I'm just going to pour it in this pan. Always use the filtered water. I don't use it straight from the tap. That'll be another video, though frugal living, though concerning water, mainly bottled water. Okay, so we got this here, right? These tea bags, six, six regular tea bags plus the one. You know. So yeah, you just want to do this number here a little bit. You know, get some movement there. And I basically let that sit until the water is cooled off. Okay? You want it basically probably at least an hour just to be safe. Because cause you, basically what you're going to do is you're going to, you know, you want it, you want it cool, uh, cool enough to where you, you're not going to burn yourself. Because what comes up next is like a, I get a coffee filter and I put the tea bags in and I squeeze it. So you, you don't want to burn yourself with that uh, hot water like that. So I'd basically leave it set for an hour and that's going to, you know, continue to, as it sits in that water, you know, it's going to, all those, that hot water is going to extract all that goodness from the tea leaves, right? And um, yeah, so I'll see you back in about an hour. Alright, so the water is cooled down enough here to where, you know, I'm not going to burn myself. So what I do is I take a filter, and I, I actually did a video of brewing tea years ago, back when I first started YouTube. So you're welcome to check out that channel. Um, you can see from my old videos to, to now, I've kind of grown a little bit, and I think my videos are better now. Because, you know, basically I was a newbie back then and just winging it. And sometimes I still wing it, but I, I don't know. I, th I think experience helps too, right? You do th the more you do things, the better uh, you get at it. So, okay, so I just got a, a filter here. So what I do is I take this filter. Let's try to put it in view, and I grab all these tea bags. So I get get the strings, grab them by the string, right? And I put it in this filter here. That way. Because I'm going to squeeze. That's basically what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to squeeze the rest of that liquid out because there's still, you know, liquid in there and good, good tea. Of course, make sure your hands are clean before you do that. <laughs> so yeah, but put it in a filter first because if you just try to do it in the tea bags, um, yeah, possibly they're going to break and then you got tea grounds uh, down in your tea and you don't want that. 
Okay, so that now goes into file 13, <laughs> as my granny would used to say. And so here we go. Here's the, um, this is the tea we brewed, right? So you just pour it into your picture like so. All right, now I already had a little bit of water in there. I just got to finish filling it up. Now, I won't, I won't fill it all the way because, you know, the more water you add to it, the weaker the tea is going to be. I mean, I don't like it strong, you know, um, but, you know, I do like it to have some some little bite to it or, you know, taste to it. I, it's just, if it's too weak, it's just not, you know, it's not good, not enjoyable. So I'll probably maybe fill it to, like, about right there. Not Not all the way. But about, you know, maybe in the, you know, I'll probably put maybe another half a gallon in there or so. Okay, so I got my water here. I use filtered water. I'm going to show you this is what I use. This is uh, the zero water pitcher and filter, right? That's, uh, so that's when I drink water, I drink it from the tap, but I drink it from after running it through the zero uh, water filter. Um, from my experience, it's great, you know. I love it. I love it. the water tastes great. So okay, so I'm gonna now I'm gonna fill this my tea pitcher up so far. Yeah, I think I'll do it. Just that's all the water I had in there. <laughs> okay. Now I'll just give it a little stir. And voila, our tea is ready to drink. Of course, now it is room temperature. You know, you need to put some ice in it if you want it cold. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's actually been so long since I've made iced tea. I thought I was going to have to f use another um, a pitcher because I, can, I can't find the lid to it. I can't find the lid to this one. I was like, oh, great, now I'm going to have to find another pitcher. But... You know me, I, I got something laying around I might be able to improvise, right? So, yeah, here we go. Came up with this. <laughs> this uh, is, of course, our uh, little buddy, R2-D2, his head anyway. It was from a uh, popcorn bowl, right? But then I was like, oh, I wonder if I would fit. And actually, that's a, there we go. Woo -do 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 -do. <laughs> So I got it now on R2D2 uh, tea, tea pitcher. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool, huh? Anyways, guys, that is um, that is how I make tea now. That's basically the tea, the version of uh, tea that I do and drink now. It's kind of updated from years ago because I think years ago when I brewed tea, I was just simply showing you how to do it, how easy it is. But I, I did not use the organic uh, tea at the time. Or I didn't use this, uh, the pomegranate blueberry asui green tea uh, bag with it. That was, that's my, so that's, this is my twist, and this is my update. So, so yeah. Um, anyways, guys, leave me some comments below. What do you think about my tea? What do you think about my cool little R2-D2 lid now that I, uh, repurposed? So, anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the video. If you're new to the channel tap the red subscribe button then the bell next to it ding ding that way you'll be notified when I upload new videos so until next time guys keep it retro